Hey everybody, it's the Shark Scrapper. Some of you have asked me to do a video showing what I do to process things that I pick up during a street scrap before I take it to the yard. We're going to do this in two parts. Part one will be the pickup, part two will be processing before I head to the yard. Come on, let's dive in and see how this plays out. Beep, beep. We interrupt your regular broadcast to bring you this important safety announcement. The Shark Scrapper has been cited. For your safety, we recommend that you subscribe to this channel. Like this video and hit the bell with the all indicator so that you are forewarned of additional sightings. We request you tell all your friends so that they may be on the lookout as well. We now return you to your scheduled programming. Good morning, everybody. We are at it again. It's a beautiful morning here in Florida. Ooh. But it rained again last night. So we're dealing with wet stuff again. And I am not going to take that larger screen. Oh, that's not that big. We'll grab it. Yeah, man. How you doing today? I'm hoping these people don't mind if I drop my banana peel in their trash can. Oh, you're nice and heavy. Oh, my. Yes, you are. heavy. Hello guys. Ooh. <clears throat> we'll put you over here. something like that. I probably have to rearrange if I find something big. Or we could just do this now. keep everything out of the way. <clears throat> yeah, so we had more rain again um, last night. But clouds are breaking up this morning and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Now, of course, the problem is that all the stuff that got put out yesterday for this morning's pickup got rained on. So it's all nice and wet again. Oh, well, at least it's clean, right? <laughs> Look out, squirrel. Get out of the way, you dummy. Suicide squirrel. Cord food down there and a goose. Let 
Mr. Goose is trying to decide whether or not he wants to cross the road. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, your coax. But we'll take you. You're just a steel snake. when people package things up like that for you. Makes it. Well, you weigh almost nothing. Whatever way I put you in there, I'm gonna have to rearrange you so it doesn't matter. Okay. Hmm. You weigh less than I expected you to. and you were an old swing set. ceiling fan. Well, your blades are breaking weird. That's all right. We know how to deal with that, don't we? Blades back there. You'll go there. Sink off of that. You brass. Yep. Brass off of those guys later on. Hoping I remember to do that. Put them by the 
by the fan. That should remind me. There we go. That'll remind me to pull those guys. Somewhere. Okay. Of course you're empty. Dummy, what were you even thinking there? <laughs> Had to check though, didn't I? All right, Mr. Microwave. heavy and I can't put the tailgate down. That sucks. the gate. <clears throat> and two hands. There we go. to be a dolly. Let's do this. I don't want to jam that fan. I want to be able to get it out easy enough. Well, it has certainly been a metal pipe kind of day. Oh my, you're good and heavy too. Because you got a lot of crap in you. Everybody knows those are good for some cop some brass and some wire. The ballast used to be worth more. Not anymore. Nowadays, just chuck them in with a shred. Unless it's an older ballast that you can open up and 
separate um, but um, any of the newer ballots I just leave one there because my yard just pays shred for them well we have some nice steel here So we're going to put it there because when we get back to the house, we need to process that microwave before we head into the yard. Right, let's put you up here with this stuff. Excuse me. <clears throat> Some pretty lightweight stuff, actually. It adds up. gonna fall down there anyway no reason to mess with it well we got some more car parts it's chrome paid chrome plated heavy too. Love the heavy ones. Ooh. Yeah, picked up another ceiling fan. Had to do that off camera. There were some kids playing around the area there. So Man, you're heavier. Gonna need two hands for you I think. no good way to put you in here, is there? <laughs> yeah, we're going to let it go at that. We'll let it go like that. What else we got here? Oh, that looks like a ceiling fan. Some metal. Look at that. They were very nice and started taking the ceiling fan apart for me. Makes three fans. Three fans for today. 
Christmas decorations. Ooh, there's some wire down there. Let's see what that turns out to be. Linksis. electronics down there it looks like well a bunch down there. Let's, let's clear it up a bit here. stuff. The head mount keeps slipping. There's an antenna. Pretty good haul of little miscellaneous electronics. Don't need you, wire stripper. You can go in with the shred. Put you all back the way they had you. There we go. Nothing down there. Okay. Well, another gym set or swing set or something. Let's go ahead and get it loaded up. This is pretty nice, actually. I'm thinking because there's a lot of metal here, and it's going to. Definitely caused me some challenges getting at the microwave. So, I think what I'm going to do is once we get this all loaded up, engage super shark scrapping speed.
Wow, that was a good load. Hey, good morning. Mind if I take your metal to the recycle place? You're more than welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's see if our dumpster's got anything for us today. So far, not. Some boots. Some metal. Some just framing stuff. Ooh, and some aluminum wire. How's it going, man? Going good, how are you? Good, good. The microwave's going to be a problem to get out now, isn't it? Sometimes I would throw stuff in the microwave to save the space, but I don't need to right now because I got this little cavity down here that was created by the pole, by those poles that I had to put up, and um, I'm just filling that space up right now. Do 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 After we got done loading up metal from that bin, we look like this. Come on back in a few days for part two so you can see how we go from this to this. <laughs>